Back at it again, back at it again. Can't stop, won't stop. Zone 9 life. Hey, thanks again for tuning in with your boy, man. Coach Jake, Motivated Moments. Stay tuned, let me show you what I have up next up my sleeves today. Because it's the same day. So let me show you what I have up my sleeves today. Let me show you what I have up next up my sleeves today. I don't know, man, but same day, man. Let me show you this little mini bed love I just did before I show you what's up next. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. There you go, Long Locos. That's what your boy did earlier. Look, look what I added. With those uh, roses, get back. Rose bushes that I removed. I had some pots, so I just put them in some pots. Would you get back? Put them in some pots and just added it to the mix. Put them in some pot, added it to the mix. Sweet. Also, what I did, I didn't film it. I didn't think I was gonna do all this today. But look what your boy is, look what your boy is prepping. Time to give the garden some love. Time to give the garden some love. Time to give the garden some love. And if y'all remember, that tree that was right there, dang it, I should have <laughs> got the name of it. I can't remember what it is. But I know exactly what it is, but that tree that's right there and I put in the middle of that window, I got it from right here. This is like the graveyard or or the uh, neglected garden area. Anyway, this is what your boy's about to do next, man. Check this out, man. I need to cut this jungle. OMG. Let's get down in there. Let's get down in the canopy and look at that. Whew. She looks good. Don't do the test like Polo. Polo did the test. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Lord have mercy, man. Yeah, she's getting shaggy and Scooby, man. Shaggy and Scooby. It's time to cut this monster. Oh, look, it's so thick. I tried to shut the uh, door. There we go, and it didn't shut. But this is it, guys. We'll walk. We'll walk our way around. I'm not gonna show the cut today, but I'm about to. I'm gonna cut it. This week is uh is foliar love. So it's all about foliar, foliar, foliar. Lee, 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 lee. But before I cut it, I'm about to blow some of these leaves off. None of these leaves are mine. Not not a single one of them. Not a single one of them is mine at all. We'll walk to the front. Shaggy and Scooby. <laughs> God almighty. Back it up, son. Oh yeah. She real shaggy and scooby guys. But she's doing she's doing pretty good. Holding up. Oh look at this. Look what I'm gonna have to cut out right here. Oh yeah, she's gotta go. I'm gonna go get my knife and I'm gonna get that out of there. But it's good when you just have that one compared to a whole lot of it everywhere. But that's it, Long Locos, man. God almighty. I need to cut this jungle. Alright, and I'm gonna show you what I what I'm uh, putting in the tank this week. I'm gonna show you what I put in the tank. And obviously I'll spray it after I mix it up. Appreciate y'all rocking with your boy, man. All right, Long Locos. Uh, let's walk this thing, man. I just put a nice fresh cut on this chompy. I know all you see is this way, this way. You know, the sun's going down. I don't care, I don't need, I don't need the sun really. Even though the sun will make it shine a little brighter, I don't need it. But there she is. Ooh wee, this time I went diagonal first. And then north and south after. Now the next time is just straight diagonal a couple times. And then diagonal and then change the pattern. I always change the pattern. Even though it's the same design, I changed the pattern. I went diagonal first and then north and south second. The last time I went north and south first, then I went diagonal second. 
You have to rotate to change your cut, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start doing Coach Shields. Shout out Shields, big big Rob. I'm gonna start doing Coach Shields softball field, and all I'm gonna do is just cut it in a different direction. Make sure I exaggerate cutting it in a different direction so it'll spread, you know, laterally in all directions. You cannot cut your grass, yard, turf, or what have you in the same direction, guys. Okay, that was my last video. Changed the mode, wasn't it? But that's it, man. Cut on my. That's it. Boy out here putting in that work, man. Zone 9 life. Real quick, uh, I don't know if we're gonna have time this evening. But that's it, man. That's the yard. Y'all have seen it before. I showed you Doggyville earlier when I did the, uh, I did that bed love. But let me give you a quick glimpse of what uh, I'm about to spray. I'm not going to spray it today. I might just go over it and spray it tomorrow. Let's go into the dungeon. The dirty, dark dungeon. I got my goodies already lined up. RGS, Micros, Monopotassium Phosphate, MKP. Silica powder, yucca, and might have to start start using this now, guys. That a new the plant growth regulator to slow this monster down because it is jumping, it is on fire. I'm tired of seeing Shaggy and Scooby every week. But appreciate y'all rocking with your boy, man. Just stay tuned, man. Let me change my clothes and get ready to talk about these spray pro products. I have my uh, my Lawn Loco shirt on. I don't know if you've ever seen it. And I don't I don't spray in these clothes. See that? Yeah. I don't I don't spray in these clothes, guys. Appreciate y'all rocking with your boy, man. Go ahead and uh, change and let's go over these products that I'm spraying this week. Cuz this week is foliar li 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 all right long locals i'm about to show you guys what i'm about to put in the petrified uh shout out petrified or it's petra my sprayer but i call it petrified show y'all what i'm gonna put the petrified today today i'm i'm due for a foliar lee 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 i'm due for a foliar application okay and this is what i'm uh going to use today some a new a new okay this is just simply a plant growth regulator like i'm on fire right now <laughs> i'm in prime time growing season even though it's uh it's february but i'm in zone nine florida so the soil temps are optimal for me to be on fire right now okay your boys growing season is from october to july okay can't stop won't stop zone nine life <laughs> all year round now what i'm going to do with this anew okay is i'm going to try to slow down some of that top growth and focus or it <laughs> is going to put more of the focus okay into the crown and into the roots okay of the plant so basically i'm i'm looking for more and better root development also strengthening up of the roots and plant as well as help it reduce stress. Like I have a cool season yard in Florida, so I need to start early. I need to start now to prepare for my stressful season, which will be this summer. Okay, I'm, I'm fine right now. I'm totally fine right now, but I'm trying to prepare for summer, like I keep telling you guys. Prepare now for summer. Don't wait until summer to prepare for summer. That doesn't make sense. So I'm going with this uh, anew plant growth regulator, okay? to focus more on root development and less top growth and to increase the stress tolerance of my plant. Now to go along with that, okay, I'm going down with my uh, mono potassium phosphate. Shout out Kel Celeste, but uh, mono potassium phosphate, okay, you see it's a zero, 5234, okay, uh, no nitrogen, Okay, 52 phosphorus. There you go. I'm looking for that root development. Exaggerate root growth, root development, root strengthening. <laughs> okay, and also in conjunction with that 34 potassium. Okay, what does that potassium do? 
It strengthens up the overall health of the plant and helps with stress reduction. Hmm. Prepare for summer now. Prepare for the stress now. Monopotassium phosphate, 05234. Going down with that anew. Also, I use this every week. Soil or soilless. Okay. That's silica powder. Silica strengthens up the cell tissues, the, the tissues and the cell walls. Kind of works like calcium in a sense. Strengthens up the plant tissue and the cell walls. The silica powder. And it doesn't help that it has a five of that stress reducer, basically. That potassium to help reduce that stress. Prepare for summer now. Okay. And I'm also going to go down with a little bit of spike of nitrogen. Okay. With some microbes. This is the main event. It's a 600. Okay. Uh, let's see. It has 1.5 ammoniacal nitrogen, 4.5 urea nitrogen, uh, magnesium at 1%, sulfur at 8%, 10% uh, iron, only 2% is chelated, 8% water soluble, 2% uh, manganese. 1% is chelated, 1% is water soluble, and I have 0.50% uh, uh, zinc, which is all water soluble. Okay, but going down with that main event. Also, because some of the micros within main event are needed in my soil, and main event doesn't have it. So, what I like to use is this as well. Okay, Turf Grass Pro. Okay, just micros. Okay, now the micros in this is uh, 1.5 chelated magnesium, 0.10% of boron. That was low in my soil test. Chlorine and boron was low in my soil test. I need I needed boron. Okay, boron. Obviously, 3.5% uh, chelated iron. 0.75% uh, chelated manganese and molybdenum 0 0.001 very small minuscule <laughs> very small am amount of the boy crazy of molybdenum very small amount of molybdenum uh, and that's it man I'm just looking for that molybdenum and boron okay coming from this one the micros main event doesn't have it okay and then also, and I use this every week. For those of you that, that are following me, have been following me, know I use this every week. Uh, I just don't call it RGS because it's really not RGS, but it does what RGS does. Look at the ingredients. It's humic, fulvic, and sea kelp. So yes, basically a makeshift version of RGS. And I put this down every week. Whether it's foliar li 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 or soil love. Foliar love or soil love, I always go down with this uh, RGS. Okay? Always. But that's it, man. And then to top it off, uh, this is what I use as my surfactant. This uh, organic uh, yucca extract that I got from, shout out, Kelp for Less. <laughs> like, shout out, Kelp for Less. Uh, it's just yucca. And all I need is like like an eighth of a teaspoon or something. A one point half, a one point five, one point half. You hear me? One point five uh, tablespoons per tank. I already put it on there. It's a very small dosage, but yucca guys is an all natural wetting agent, water penetrant, and surfactant. I pretty much use yucca in every one of my tanks as well. The yucca, the silica powder. I also have an aeration and yucca that are used for uh, soil love as well as foliar love. But this yucca is some good stuff, guys. Okay? Uh, your boy uh, your boy Pete uses a liquid version of this. Okay? But that's it, man. Appreciate you rocking with your boy today, man. I might not record me doing it. I don't know. Some people like me recording the spray because they get to see the yard. I don't know. But this is what your boy is going to spray today. Let me go ahead and put the hot water. I use hot water, guys. It's really good to use hot water. Uh, but I use hot water to put in the bucket to mix up all my all my chemicals. Obviously, I have the paint mixer. 
And uh, one thing I will have to say with this is, I'm going to have to pull out a scale and weigh this. Okay. Uh, 0.18 ounce per thousand minimum, 0.37 per thousand max. And I always go down with the minimum. So I can do, I can control it. Okay, minimum, minimum, minimum. If I go down to the minimum rate, I'll just have to reapply sooner. I don't like going down with the medium to high rate because then you have to wait longer and it's hard to tell if you mess something up. I ain't doing that. <laughs> I won't do it. But I'm going down with the uh, minimum rate, guys. Let's get it. All right, Lawn Locals, that's it, man. Appreciate y'all rocking with your boy, Coach J, Motivated Moments. Thanks again for your time. God bless. It's time for me to cut this Zoysia flu. Ooh, it's time for a cut. Uh, nice and tight, though. She nice and tight, though. She nice and tight, though. <laughs> uh. Appreciate y'all rocking with your boy, man. Just showing y'all this, this Zoysia flu before we check out. Make sure you subscribe, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Thumbs up. Follow along, man. Let's see what part of the year will this, this flu start to disappear and the Zoysia will appear by itself. Hmm. Stay tuned, man. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, man. Thanks again for your time. Peace.